everybody, I thought I'd go ahead and make a video on how I made my rain barrel system. Um, first thing starting with the gutter is you want to get gutter guard to keep all the leaves and twigs and stuff out, obviously. <clears throat> and then coming down the pipe, you just want to get some flexible uh, downspout. And what I did was I actually cut the downspout here and put this end onto the barrel. That's what this is right here. Because the other end is a smaller one for smaller guttering, which this this size would probably fit my particular gutter, but I d didn't bother with trying to fit it. I just put the round end in, and then that way I could take the small end and put it in the big end that I cut off the other side, which kind of works well, almost like a funnel. So it's kind of dirty down in there. I have to periodically take stuff out of here, but it's better that it gets here um, than inside the barrels, of course. So I'll leave that out, show you what I got set up here. Um, this bottom ring, I cut out, I think it was a four inch hole. This bottom ring here is actually a shower um, drain cap, and I just dropped that down in the four inch hole. Um, <clears throat> it might be bigger than that, it might be six inch, I don't know. Anyway, it's pretty standard. Um, and I just siliconed that to the barrel, and then I kind of did a multi silicone job of both of all the um, the spout piece and the mosquito netting on top of that. So all this is just silicone. There's no screws or anything. I just kind of glued it all together with silicone. And so that'll keep mosquitoes out and of course all this stuff from getting in there. Which is important because I've got a pump at the other end that uh, I don't want all that getting into the, into the pump. So that's the setup going into the barrels. Now the barrels themselves, I don't know if this actually matters or not, but I made the first barrel higher than the others just to ensure that all those other barrels will fill completely to the top. Because if they were all on the same level or close to the same level, um, then I might not get level all the way across all of the barrels. Because what's happening in this system is um, the manifold on the bottom allows all of the barrels to fill up at once because they're all connected. So just based on the, um, um, how hydraulics works is it all seeks the same level. So if they're all connected, then they'll all seek the same level. So the idea is that all three of those will always be full and then at the very top of the first barrel, barrel is where once they're all, all the way full, it'll start to drain out the um, excess pipe into my um, whatever you want to call that thing. So that just ensures all my barrels get filled up. You need, you need to put these vents in uh, to allow the air obviously to escape because there's nowhere for it to go as the water is rising up the barrels. So you got to have those. Uh, vents there. What I really should do is put some mosquito netting over top of them so that the mosquitoes can't get in there, but Honestly, I don't think it's probably hurting it that much And everything that I've that all these three-quarter pipes that I connect to the barrels um, It's all just threaded in there with Just some all-purpose poly seal caulk around it. I didn't use any pipe tape or anything, I just used caulk on everything. And um, <clears throat> all you need is a three quarter inch hole saw because it fits perfectly all of the um, fittings. So what I did is um, they make these garden hose connectors or adapters that have the same thread patterns as the PVC 
And so I, I ran the metal one through the metal um, hose adapters through the holes that I cut first, and that gives it a um, a path for the PVC to thread through because PVC into the plastic barrels uh, might not cut into it very well like the metal connector could. Um, <clears throat> so let me show you. And I just built this little platform to make it higher, just out of two by four and things. So all the pipe is glued together. It's not threaded at all. Um, this is the hose bib I put in for filling up a watering can or whatever, uh, just for easy access. So at the bottom here, if I can even see it. So I've got glue going into, I really should be using a different barrel. Hold on a second. All right. This is better. Perfect. So I don't glue anything. All these barrels come with these, these bungs. This is just this whole cap. If I, if I didn't um, silicone any of this, I could unscrew this cap and fill it up if this was right side up but it's perfect for what we need here because you can just drill that three-quarter hole saw through the this cap here and um, silicone the cap into place and then silicone the um, adapter in there that you thread in there so this piece is it's threaded on this end and glue on this end um, like I said, I didn't use any pipe tape. I just used silicone on everything just to make sure it seals it up. We'll see if I pay for that later or not. Um, but for now, it's been working great. So everything else is glued, uh, all my joints. But every, everything connected to the barrel um, is silicone and threaded. So that's how each connection works. Um, and then at this end, I've got my um, ball valve, three-quarter ball valve, and I made a hose connector. Um, this piece right here is just a male-to-male -male, um, connector, and this side is garden hose thread, and this side is, I guess, just PVC thread because it fits perfectly into this uh, female union here with glue on this side and threaded on this side and then the hose I had to make because it's got female on this end and female on the pump end <clears throat> so I just bought one of these hose kits from Lowe's cut the end off of the hose and slap that sucker on there so th that allows me to, to hook up the, uh, the pump there and then on my pump this is a uh, 1500 gallon per hour 25 gallon per minute pump utility pump from um, Harbor Freight it was like 60 70 bucks something like that they have really good prices on their pumps hopefully it holds up it might not be the best quality pump in the world but um, I've only tried it a couple times my plan is to get a good sprinkler system going here, but for now uh, it works really well. And I've got a Y on it right now because I can actually run two sprinklers and I could probably run even more um, with this particular pump. So I'll show you what kind of speeds we can get off this thing. Plug it in here. Oh, wait a second. That's important, right there. Plus, we've got a primal pump, let it fill up with water first. And it should start to come out of here on its own. Yeah. 
so we know it's full and primed. So I got some leakage, but it's not that big of a deal. I need to be perfect. And like I said, I have a couple of sprinkles come off of it, but puts out some really good head pressure. Uh, plenty for a sprinkler or two. So that's pretty much my setup. Um, I don't think there's anything else to mention. Can't think of anything. I'm gonna link to the video that I based this design off of. Um, I think it's a really good design. It's easy. Biggest thing is trying to find the barrels. I work um, at a place that has a lot of these, and I was able to just bring them home, which was great. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this system. I've got a lot of trees in my backyard, so I got lots of dead grass that I'm excited about getting watered. And uh, yeah, that's my system. Thanks for watching.